drowsiness. It's cock. My vagina can smell like they mold or something. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dimitri and Daniela. If you are new here, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So today we're going to be talking about hygiene tips for the vagina, okay? Y'all know it's summer season, it's hot, we are sweating, so we have to take care of vagina even more. You don't want built up bacteria, we don't want the scent of the sweat, we we, we don't want that, okay? We trying to stay clean, fresh, and tight, okay? So stay tuned while I go and discuss some tips and tricks to take care of your vagina. Okay, a quick disclaimer, I am not a gynecologist. I am just a freak for hygiene, and I try to stay as clean and fresh as possible. So these, some of these steps I have done already, and it's been proven, and it worked for me. So I just feel like I need to share it. You know, some people out there just need some advice. So first of all, shave. Shave, nail, do whatever. Just make sure, keep the hair as low as possible. A bunch of hair, a bunch of built up hair underneath your arm or the vagina and the hips is going to cause an odor. An extremely bad odor also. Like, yeah, yes, I am aware that all of us have an odor, but ladies, when you have an odor to the fact that when you sit down and you get up, someone could smell you, or when you walk past someone, they could smell you. Something is wrong there. Something is really wrong. I mean, smell that fishiness, that that frowsiness. Y'all need to deal with that, okay? So, one of the reasons for that is, for sure, a whole bunch of hair. We are in the summer season. We are going to sweat more. Listen, and another thing. Stop pushing things in y'all vagina please stop pushing soap and towel and feminine wipes and spraying the feminine spray in your vagina that is not healthy that's gonna cause a major problem it's gonna cause a bunch of discharge it's it's gonna cause a bigger problem okay the only thing which y'all need to be pushing in your vagina is cock okay just just penis the clean ones so yeah and if y'all have to push your finger in there or let someone push their finger in there please make sure y'all sanitize your hands scrub the nails and make sure it's clean like y'all can't be letting any and everybody push their finger up in y'all y'all don't know what these people been doing early in the day Okay, so now I'm going to share a personal experience with y'all. Like me, I was a person who always used to love tight jeans. Like, darling, if it ain't tight, I'm not wearing it. I can tell you that straight up. But you cannot be wearing tight jeans continuously every day and every day because you are going to get some type of discharge. It's going to cause you get some type of infection. I'm telling you. Because your vagina isn't getting any oxygen it's not breathing it has to breathe baby it has to breathe so ease up off the tight jeans especially tight jeans but ease up off the tight clothes on the whole okay okay for those of you who live with one or more people for me i live with my family so this is something that i do on a regular basis if you go in the shower but you decide that, hey, you want to take a bath. Please do not, do not rest your bare vagina on the tub. Do not sit down in the tub and talking about, oh, I soak in. Don't do that. If you need to sit down in the tub to soak, go ahead and get a towel and rest it directly where your vagina is going to be placed in the tub. Rest it directly there and then you could proceed with your bath. But please don't go ahead and just sit your vagina right there. Because the person before took a shower, dirt, the dirt from the bottom of their foot still on the top, the dirt from their body is still on the top, the, the dirt from their hair is still on the top. So please be cautious about that. Be aware that that's not healthy to 
Just sit your bare vagina. Just sitting right there. No, don't do that. Ladies, don't do that because you'll be wondering like why you have this itching feeling all along. That's because obviously you don't clean your bathroom every day. At least me. I don't clean my bathroom every day. That's a weekly chore for me. Okay? Okay, I don't know how what is your bathing routine, but let me explain my bathing routine to y'all. First of all, I always just wash my face first with my bare hands. Or if I have an exfoliating brush or exfoliating towel, that's the first thing I do. Now, I have another towel for my body. But, listen, what you need to do first, wash your vagina first because your vagina is supposed to be the cleanest part of your body. So you wash your vagina first and then you proceed to bathe the rest of your skin. I take like, I bathe three times, I surge up my body three times and that's the steps what I take and it's been working for me fine. You could try it, it may work for you, I don't know. Okay, at night or whenever you are off from work or off from school or wherever from running errands when you are at home, chilling, laying down, you know, you know you're not going out anymore in the day or whatever, take your panties off and take a rest. Stop sleeping in underwear. Listen, y'all, vagina have to breathe. The vagina has to breathe, okay? And if you have panty, panty shield on, pad, all these things on, constantly all day through the day, and then you do the same thing at night, when, what time does your vagina has to breathe? Think of it like this. You don't cover your nose all day. When you have a mask on your face, like personally me, I just can't wait to come out the shop so I could yuck that mask off. Like sometimes I just have to take it off just to breathe comfortably or normally while in the store. So imagine, imagine how your vagina feels if you have on a panty shield constantly all day with a tight panty over that. Think about it. So ladies, let your vagina breathe. Sometimes it winds down to what's in your diet, what are you eating? Okay, so y'all know y'all needs to include fruits and vegetables in your diet. Like that's a must. If y'all go and about your day eating a bunch of fried food, greasy food, junk food every day, and you ain't putting no fruits or vegetables inside your body, then what are you doing? Okay? We are what we eat. We smell like what we eat. I'm telling you. Because me, I'm a pineapple lover. I am obsessed with pineapples. And the yellow represents the pineapples that I love. I'm obsessed with pineapples. And let me tell you all something. This is what I do. This is a constant, this is everything. Day thing for me. I boil pineapple and ginger together every day. Sometimes I put it in a whole jug and I drink a cup of that every single day. And listen to me, when I tell you all, I have seen and I feel like great improvement with my body on the whole, it makes a difference. What you decide to eat and what you decide to put in your body makes a major difference. And some other fruits, if you're not a person that likes pineapples, some other fruits that also is really good, and I've tried already cranberry juice, apple juice, celery juice, lemon. Those are some things that you can add to your diet to make a big difference in your vagina. Like it's going to make a difference. I'm telling you, you just have to be consistent. It's going to make a difference. Okay, something that I always wanted to know, right? Suppose somebody who has a bad mouth odor decides that, hey, I, I decide that I, I want them to eat my vagina, right? Like, I always wanted to know, like, y'all think my, my vagina could smell like they mold or something? Am I going to get a yeast infection from that? Because they have a horrible mold odor, which simply means that they have something going on in their mouth. They have a whole lot of germs in their mouth, more than normal. So I wanted to know, like, if girls who let guys with stink breaths eat their vagina if they get yeast infections and stuff like that i would not i don't think i'll ever know but i just was always inquisitive like 
Because when guys come to me and be trying to talk and stuff like that, and they be like, baby, I'll eat you from the back and stuff like that, they be like, but your mouth smells so bad. Your mouth is stink. You think I can let a stink mouth put their mouth on my vagina? Like, seriously? I, I, just, I just always wanted to know, like, how do girls' vagina react to guys who have mouth odors? I have a problem with talking to somebody with a mouth odor, so... I never experienced it. That's the reason why I was always like inquisitive. That's when I hear guys talk and they talking about sexual stuff like that and they have a horrible mouth odor to the fact that like my face looks like this. That's the only thing that is be on my mind like ugh. <laughs> and most importantly, ladies, please make sure to always check yourself go to the gynecologist get pap smears done like you could feel like the healthiest person or your vagina may be smelling good but you still don't know like what's going on in there especially if you're a person who know you're sexually active please put that money aside with your paycheck from the year starts and do your annuals do your pap smears annually I'm not talking about blood works. I'm talking about actually getting a pap smear done because what's going on in your vagina, that's the only way you'll know like, hey, what's going on in my cervix? What's going on in my, ure my urethra? What's going on? Like, pap smears is going to give you the full information about what's going on with your vagina on the whole. So please, I hope you guys find this video very informative. Thank y'all so much for staying tuned.